In tonight's health alert, the FDA is warning about the popular antibiotic azithromycin, also known as ZPAC. It could trigger a potentially deadly irregular heart rhythm in some patients. Well, the drug is often a popular choice because patients can take fewer doses over a shorter period of time. Dr. Warren Levy, a cardiologist and president of the Virginia Heart Medical Practice, joins us. Dr. Levy, thanks so much for being here. Good evening. We know so many people take ZPACs, but this warning, though, is not for everyone. Who is at risk? That's correct. This is based on a study published last year that showed a very small increased risk of sudden death or cardiovascular death in patients who took Zithromax or azithromycin compared to those who took a simple antibiotic such as amoxicillin. Patients who have known cardiovascular disease, however, were at substantially increased risk. The increased risk was something like 250 patients out of a million who were treated would die compared to amoxicillin. But for those who don't have other disease, the risk was still increased. It was 47 patients out of a million. And in case someone who is at risk does not heed this warning, what sort of potential side effects could they be facing? Well, the medication only provides or gives risk when you're taking it. There's no long-term risk. And the risk is that these types of antibiotics, this class, affects the electrical system of the heart sometimes and can change the way the electrical impulses move through the heart and can put patients at risk of a very chaotic heart rhythm abnormality. So you're not going to feel anything. You're not going to know anything. Mm -hmm. But I think this is really just a, a flag that's raised. The FDA came out with a warning now. And I think we just need to pay attention. First, we need to remember we prescribe too many antibiotics in this country. Most upper respiratory tract infections are caused by a virus, not, not a bacteria. And most people don't need antibiotics for that. Secondly, if patients have known cardiovascular disease or fall into one of the risk groups, such as those who are on heart medicines, heart rhythm medicines, have very slow heart rates, they shouldn't be given this class of medication. Choose a different antibiotic instead. All right, Dr. Warren Levy, cardiologist and president of the Virginia Heart Medical Practice. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you.